Well, thunder is roaring and rain is pouring in some parts of our area. Storms moving through the city and the metro area right now with a flash flood warning issued. This is a look on Bourbon Street. Good afternoon. I'm Leslie Spoon. Thank you so much for joining us. Neutral ground parking is allowed in New Orleans until 6 o'clock tonight. We're keeping a very close eye on any reports of street flooding this afternoon as the storms continue. Meteorologist Alexa Trishler is here with more. Alexa, what do we need to know? Yeah, some of these storms really aren't moving all too much, and that's why we can get this flooding issue going across the New Orleans Metro. That flash flood warning is in effect until 1:15 this afternoon because it will take some time for that water to recede once the storm stops. And the storm is still continuing right now. It has fizzled out a bit throughout parts of the city. Metairie just seeing some moderate rain, but some heavier rain back towards Luling and Laplace, the St. Charles Parish. Parts of our river parish is seeing some heavier rain right now and some small hail possible within that storm and frequent lightning. Heavy your rain also through parts of the city and towards Chalmette and on the uh, south uh, south of the river on the West Bank. Some heavier rain now moving over the Causeway Bridge and some lightning with that. So make sure you are driving carefully this afternoon. We've got some bigger storms on the North Shore and moving into South Mississippi. Some of them not moving much like this storm just west of Mandeville, giving quite a bit of heavy rain and frequent lightning with that storm. So here's the hail tracker. There is some small hail possible towards Luling and Laplace with some of those storms. You can get some small hail, frequent lightning and brief wind gusts up to 50 miles per hour, plus the heavy rain that that could lead to some nuisance flooding. So expect some isolated street flooding within these storms throughout the afternoon. Winds are light now, but still they can see those gusts in those storms up to maybe 30, 40 miles per hour. Throughout the rest of today, we are expecting more pop up showers and storms, and they can dump quite a bit of rain this afternoon. It's not going to be for everyone, but the places that do see the storms may have to deal with some kind of big puddles and ponding on the roads. Temperatures now we're in the 70s will be in the 80s as we head into this afternoon, and the cooling showers are nice but we could do without the flooding and the stronger storms. So it's really something we're going to have to be watching through this afternoon. And it's really not only today, which we were just talking about. That's right. It's going into tomorrow, too. So the storms right now, you said they're kind of moving through slowly. They're moving slowly. That's the big issue is that when they move and they don't fizzle out quick enough, we get the heavy rain mm -hmm. and it just kind of builds and builds and we get that flooding problem. And tomorrow, I think we'll be watching for a similar issue. Pop-up storms can give us some heavier rain, some isolated flooding, some isolated stronger storms are possible tomorrow as well. And we're worried more about the flooding aspect. And I know you mentioned yes. lightning, but not the severe weather. Yeah, severe weather kind of on the lower end of the scale. Okay, we can good. see those stronger winds. Don't have to worry about tornadoes. This is not something we have to worry about with that. But it's the stronger winds, the heavier rain and downpours, and maybe some smaller hail with the storms. All right, Alexa, thank you very much. We'll check back in with yes, you momentarily. Yeah. Let's take a look. Street flooding is becoming an issue in the Elmwood area here. This is a live look near the corner of Clearview and Mounds Avenues. You can see cars starting to slow down as they come across that rising water, and it looks like it's draining fairly well here. Remember, though, if you do see high water, turn around, don't drown, and don't try to go through it and risk pushing it into other businesses and homes as well. And taking a live look at the traffic on the I-10 at Clearview and Metairie, Looks like people are slowing down, starting to sort of back up as people navigate this. This is headed west. And guys, definitely check this out. This is what it's looking like for some people on the road right now. Our reporter Paul Murphy sent this to us along I-10. As we mentioned, be careful if you have to get on the road. And remember that neutral ground parking is allowed in New Orleans until 6 o'clock tonight. And always, you can download our free WWL TV app. Check out that live radar, radar right there in your fingertips and get updates on the severe weather. And as we mentioned, Alexa will be back in a few minutes with our full forecast.